November 22nd, 1968, 3.28 p.m., end of record. Vincent Rambaldi, number 1017. I don't have much in terms of tangible evidence of the life, but I'm absolutely confident that within my team, there's someone who delivered information to the conspirators, a traitor to the United States. Sent in manila envelopes on six different occasions. I can confirm the accuracy of the information. My testimony will help confirm the accuracy of each operative's alibi when questioned by internal affairs. say Semyon Alexievich Strogoff, veteran of the Second World War, a member of the KGB of the USSR, and now the most wanted man in America. You see, the president was assassinated today in an aircraft carrier off the coast of Cuba, was attacked likely by a Russian sub. Now, I haven't received word of the attack yet, but it's only a matter of time. And now a Soviet spy is arrested right outside the CIA safe house where all of the agents have been systematically killed. The public will have no doubt who's to blame for this. No one will hesitate to accuse the Russians. And you, their agent. Of course, it doesn't hurt that Lee Harvey Oswald has confessed sympathy for the Soviet Union so openly. I found Lee two days after he removed Cataldo. We had to act quickly. Kennedy's assassination would signal the beginning of a main phase of the operation. His assassination almost didn't happen, of course. But then you handed the evidence to me. I must say, not very cautious of you, Agent Alakine. Nothing to say? Well, you do have the right to remain silent. And whatever you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And I made sure your story won't match with this. Rambaldi's men are dead. And your name doesn't appear in any of these documents. There is nothing to confirm your version of the events. You'll stay here till Monday, and you'll be transferred to the CIA. Well, I'm sure they can't wait to meet the spy who murdered their friends. I don't even want to imagine the kind of hell they're going to put you through. Farewell, comrade. You won't be missed. Power 
forget. Enjoy your new home, Kami. Welcome back guys, your boy Scooby Stacks. So we're continuing on with mission 10. So it looks like we're a prisoner now. Prison escape, time's coming. So just like the movie Prison Break. Hope you guys are liking the gameplay. Thanks a lot for support. You guys are great. I love you guys. I didn't expect the attention that I'm getting on this series. So with that said everyone, let's continue on. Let's see what we have here. Let's check this right here. Check this door real quick. Make sure there he is. Doors open. Oh yeah, he must have went through the door there. So we're good. Look at him. He's taking a nap. All right. So let's go this way. So we wait for him to put his cigarette out and we'll follow him. Not get too close though. Stay back. Remember, look through the peak hole and make sure we're clear. Keep an eye on the stairs, we're good. Can't be too safe. Alright, we're good. So we got a guard here. So we gotta see what he's doing. Oh, it looks like he's getting up, so we're good. Let's follow his movement. All right, should be good. Let's see what he's doing. That's how we do everybody. What we're gonna do is change clothes. Let's pick his body up. We gotta hide him. We'll hide him down here. We'll hide him in this room right here. Some of these shapes can get a little tricky. Should should be coming up soon. I think it's this. No, it's not that. Right there. 
And next one, nope. This looks like it. I wasn't sure at all. First. Cause them shapes are a little tricky. Sometimes they look like and they don't be the right ones. So we'll hide this body in here. Good to go. Now we got the uniform on, so we blend in. But we still gotta be on point and make sure that we blend in because we don't want no distractions and think that we're ch changing the uniforms. So. I don't care. Find out who left the box here and then get it back into lockup. So what they're talking about is a box, which is over here, the one we're gonna grab right now. Not that one, but the one over here, I'll just looking, just looking around, make sure there's anything I can get. Nope, we're good. This box right here. We gotta bring it to evidence. So we gotta go around a couple of doors and stuff and I'll show you what evidence is. See what the number two is? That's what evidence is. Oh. We're good. Nobody expects a thing. I'm sure we're going the right way. Yep. The wrong way, the wrong way. Wrong way, everybody. It's over here. Is it this one? Nope. Keep going. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, you can get lost in here, too, if you don't know where we're going. Okay, we're good now. That Percy, he's always making rookies run his errands. Take it from me. You let people push you around now, you'll never get promoted to see any real action. Anyway, let me go put this box back. That was close, everybody. He almost seen us. Wait, that's restricted. Let it be restricted. We're good. So what we're gonna do is come back here. And this evidence box right here, that's the one that he bought back here, but we're good. Nothing else in here, so now let's look at a good look at the map, what we gotta do. So okay, so we're on the second floor. And we have to go to the third floor now, right here. So that's where we gotta go now. Get out of here real quick before he thinks something. We're good. that there's some construction work happening on the third floor. I swear there was no note. Maybe someone took it. You know, for, uh, emergency. I want you guys to hear that, so we're good. Sorry, can't let you through. I'll go through anyway.
So what we need to do is turn the lights off on the third floor. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is, I gotta clear away, I'm gonna show you guys something. We gotta capture this guy, and we gotta bring him to the basement, so we gotta go through this elevator here, so I'm gonna clear away, so I gotta clear my, clear the men out of this whole hallway here. And I gotta capture him too, at the same time. So that's what we're gonna do. Take him out first. We'll come back for him. See what's going on in here. So usually there's a guy sitting there. There's usually two guys in here, but for some reason there's not. So we're gonna clear it away. Perfect. All right, well now let's get that guy in the hallway. Before someone else sees him. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna wait right here, and that guy's gonna come through here. We gotta basically lure him into that room so we can take him out. Takes him, there he is right there. Sometimes it takes him a little while to come in here. So he's right there, waiting to watch him. Now he's going back. Watch him. Open the door real quick. Hopefully he goes in there. Let's see. Perfect. We're gonna knock him out right now. You bastard! Perfect. Okay, pick his body up. Remember guys, save your progress. We're pretty far. We're doing good. So we're going to save. Make sure you save your progress, everybody. We got way too far. Now there's the guy that loans around in the hallway, which we have to take out. Because he's a pain. There he is right there. That's the guy I was talking about before. So we'll take him out right now. Perfect. We'll hide his body. Now be real, real careful. We'll hide his body over here. We don't want no one seeing his body. And we gotta be quick. Sometimes when you pick his body up, other guards come out of the room. So be careful. So what we're gonna do is now, 
रिपोर्ट भी देखे Before we open the door, we're still gonna look in the hallway. Yep, we're good. Like I said before, be fast, cause you don't want no surprises. Guards coming out seeing us. And before we go around this corner, we'll make sure we're good. Yep, we're good. Now, guards, remember, as soon as you get in this doorway here, close the door behind you. We don't want no guards seeing us carrying a body. Perfect. Come over here. And this is why I cleared that hallway out, guys, so I can bring the body here. So the elevator's coming, so we'll go over here and wait, just in case some guards or something come back in here. We gotta be careful. Back up a little. Perfect. Thanks a lot for the support, guys, on this series and on this gameplay. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. This game is getting real tense, and I'm loving it. It's getting real interesting. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay his body right here. And what I have to do is I have to clear it away. Cause this is an escape route. And there's a couple of guards down here, so I'm gonna take out, and I'll show you what I mean. This is going to be our escape route, so we have to clear it away so we'll be carrying them. We'll take him out first. Perfect. There should be one more guard in this area, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide him out here. Right there. We're gonna walk right past him like we're not paying attention now. He's gonna look at us. Keep going. Perfect. We did that so quick he didn't have no chance. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide his body. Right in here. Now this is our escape route. This is where we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave right here. Well, I'm just double checking, make sure no guards come random popping up. All right, we're good. So now where we gotta go, everybody is, we have to go back to where we started the mission at. We have to get some um, building plans. And it doesn't show you on the map exactly where they're at. So just follow my guide and I'll show you exactly where to go. Like I was saying before, guys it's where um you starting the mission at but we gotta there's two guys in the room we gotta take out first so this way is clear now we gotta clear this way go right over here now guys, before we do that, there's men in these in these doorways, so be careful. Like here's one right there. Let me take him out real quick. Oh, he's going up there. Let me take him out. No, you can't go in these rooms here because there's men in there. There's guards, so what we do is we're gonna hide his body over here. I can't put him there. We'll put him up here. You know what we can do with his body, everybody? We can put him in our cell where we started the mission at. Right in here. Perfect. So what we have to do guys is wait for this guy to get up. 
that there's another guard behind the door. So if we take him out, then he'll see that. So he's leaving, perfect. Let him go through there, perfect. Perfect. This is what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna go right here. Because he's gonna come back in here. We gotta wait, just gotta wait for him. Are you okay? You bastard! Perfect. Perfect. You bastard! Hide his body in there. Now what we have to do, we gotta put these bodies somewhere. We can't keep him there. You know what we're gonna do? We'll put the body behind the door here. Cause there's really nowhere else to put him. Could put him in a cell, but we'll leave him right here. So anyone got they got keys or anything on them? Nope, we're good. Close the door behind us. Look at the map. Oh, we're going good. I'll show you guys the map. See where we have to go? Everyone? Right there. See where the one is? And that's where we're going. Perfect. down here right into records come right over here perfect We're gonna go back the same way we came, everyone. Always to the basement to our escape route. Go back this way. So all you're doing is backtracking. No one's following us, so we're good. We gotta take this guy out. You bastard! There's always, they always got guards in this area, so you just gotta be careful. So we're good. So we'll hide him in the dark. That's why I was looking around. I knew there'd be some guards down here. I think there's another one. I can hear him. I think we're good. Perfect. There's a guard in there, guys, you gotta be careful of. So, we're good. So, what we gotta do is pick up this guy right here. So, now we're good. And go our escape route. Now, be quick, because sometimes the guards do come through here. So we're good.
This is the alleyway that we cleared out. This is why I cleared it out. So far, so good. No problems. Now when we get out here, be careful because we're going to be in a subway on tracks and there's a subway that can't hit you. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. It's just like random. Hey, it's coming right now, so wait right here. And guys, you probably wonder why I always save right there. The reason I save right there is because if I don't save it, it will start me from the beginning of the mission. 